When Ghost of Tsushima was announced, I, like many people, was very excited. A game based on feudal Japan that involves samurais, stealth, and a beautiful environment. I was interested. When I first got my hand on the game and launched it up, I was hooked. I could not stop playing, and it has easily become one of my favourite games ever. But it also got me thinking. This game is based on historical events, but how true are they to actual history? Were foxes worshipped by the Japanese? And how are they related to the Yanari shrines? What was the importance of haikus in Japanese culture? And how long have people bathed in hot springs? I think one of the best parts of the game is exploring the beautiful island of Tsushima. With such a gorgeous setting, it is hard not to explore. Luckily, the game encourages you to explore through the foxes you meet in the world. When you find a fox, it will lead you to a Yanari shrine, which has some of the best foods you can find in the game. The game tells you that some of Tsushima shrines are dedicated to Inari, kami of agriculture and plenty, and that the foxes are Inari's messengers and are often drawn to these sacred places. That is true. The Inari shrines have been part of Japanese culture and religion for centuries. They are used to worship the kami Inari, the deities or spirits. The Inari is one of the more popular deities in the Shinto Buddhist religion, and is associated with foxes, rice, household well-being, business prosperity, and general prosperity. The word Inari is an abbreviated term for Inari or Inninaru, which translates to reaping of rice. The ancient Japanese word stems from the importance of rice in the daily Japanese diet and symbolizes the miracles of heaven and earth. The original legend of Inari, as described in the Yamashiro Vidoko, is the story of Hata no Irogi, who used sticky rice for target practice. Legend states that once an arrow pierces the rice, the rice would transform into a white bird and fly to the peak of Mount Mitsumene. Upon its arrival to the mountain, the white bird changed back into rice plants. To worship the Inari shrines was incredibly important to Japanese people in the 13th century, when they were so reliant on having a good harvest for their livelihood, they would look to their religion to achieve this. When going to the Inari shrines, they would usually have statues of foxes next to the entrance. These are guardian figures in the form of foxes or kitsune. These guardian figures are messengers of Inari, and are commonly thought as a deity itself. The kitsune statues typically come in pairs, and each represents a male and a female. Often, these fox statues hold a symbolic item in their mouths or beneath a front paw, which may include a jewel or a key, which are the most common, but a sheaf of rice, a scroll, or a fox cub are also popular. Almost all Inari shrines, no matter how small, will feature a pair of these statues, usually flanking on the altar or in front of the main sanctuary. Being messages of the Inari, it is understandable as to why the game had us follow the foxes to these shrines. One of the more relaxing parts of the game is when you compose haikus. It is a nice break from the fighting and exploring. It is said in a game that it is a solemn duty of every samurai to study the arts, cultivating both observation and imagination. Now while samurais did take part in composing haikus, it was not specific to them and everyone in Japan took part in the art of haikus. A haiku is a form of Japanese poetry with a 575 syllable structure, with a focus on writing about serious topics by referencing metaphors from nature. Now haikus are a relatively new form of poetry and first emerged in Japan during the 17th century and it didn't become known as haiku until the 19th century. So if haikus weren't invented until the 17th century, what is being composed in Ghost of Tsushima? The format of the haiku 575 is from the first part of the 57577 format of the more traditional poem called a tanka, short verse, that was practiced centuries before the haiku. The 575 format can be found in a Renga style poem, linked verse, where one person would compose the first verse called a hoku, the 575, and the next person would compose a 77 follow up, and then the third would do another 575, and so on and so on. This would make for an entertaining activity and would be done by people at parties whilst they drank. So basing off this, it is probably more acceptable to say that Jun is composing a hoku, the 575, instead of a haiku, but I think the studio used the term haiku with it being the more well-known poem term. Hot springs, or onsen, are scattered around the island of Tsushima and offer a respite to Jin on his travels. It is said in the game that the physical and mental demands of combat require tests and recovery, as every warrior soon learns. There are around 20 hot springs you can visit in Tsushima, but just how important were hot springs to Japanese culture? The earliest known note of a Japanese onsen is in the Nihon Shoki text. This text was written in the 1st century and gives details of the three oldest known onsens. Now whilst Jin bathes in onsens by himself, 
which is understandable with the journey he is on. The culture of onsens in real life is one that is based purely around the social aspect. Japanese people bathe naked together with friends and strangers, with it not being uncomfortable. It is said that bathing together is a healthy, relaxing and bonding experience, and the Japanese even have a word for this type of friendship. Hot springs can be found anywhere in Japan like in the game, with some being in remote mountains, on beaches, in major cities, on the edges of cliffs, on top of hotels and on riverbanks. Some even are wild and undeveloped, which require people to go on a long hike over difficult terrain to reach. All this proves how important hot springs or onsen are to Japanese culture. Baths and neighbourhoods play an important social role as well. It is in these places that neighbours would exchange news and bond, a place where friendships develop. Since neighbours who frequently bathe at a certain time, the other regulars would notice the absence of a friend or a neighbour and would check up on them, creating a close-knit community with everyone looking out for each other. I always find it crazy to think that Ghost of Tsushima is Sucker Punch Productions first attempt at making a video game based on historical events, and they really have done an amazing job. With Japanese culture being one of the most important things to get right in a video game like this, the studio succeeded. With the uses of foxes in the Inari shrines, the composing of haikus, and the use of hot springs, these are just three chosen aspects of a game that has so much more detail than I could say in this one video. One thing that surprised me when doing research for this video is that the game director and co-director were made honorary touring ambassadors to the island by the local government of Tsushima due to them doing such an amazing job. Ghost of Tsushima truly is one of the best games ever made in my opinion and with the PC port arriving in May this year I would urge anyone who hasn't played it yet to give it a go. You won't be disappointed.